Yeah. You know, you issued, issued, you mentioned issue 24. That is another big issue that is on this year's ballot. And this is a proposed charter amendment for the city of Cleveland that would put a civilian-led commission in charge of police discipline. Marissa Sines is live at the Cleveland Police Union headquarters with more. Marissa. Good evening, Betsy. Now, today we'll decide if issue 24 is a pass or if it's a fail. And leading up to this point, we've really only seen people on one side of the aisle or, or the other. There's really never been anybody in the middle on this issue. Now, should this pass, we would see a new board, a new commission created that would be selected by the new mayor and city council. Officers who are being investigated would go before this board, which would decide how discipline would be carried out, as well as some police policies. Typically, these matters and decisions are investigated by an internal board and signed off by the police chief or the public safety director. Now, there are concerns that should this pass, officers would resign and retire. And right now, the force is understaffed by over 100 officers. Both sides are hard pressed in their stances. One side saying if officers don't like more accountability, they're not the kind of officers we need. The other side saying there is more than enough accountability now. We are watched all the time. If a camera's not on us, there's a camera at every corner and everybody has a cell phone camera. And if we're wrong, we get suspended and we get termination. We probably get the most discipline in the state. So we are held accountable. They should simply make good on that threat if they feel so strongly that having a greater layer of civilian oversight is so horrifying to them. The idea of actually being held accountable to some standards, that this is a relatively minor adjustment in the scheme of things. It's not going to affect people who conduct themselves appropriately. It's yeah, and this is a dividing line for for the, this is a dividing line for the mayoral candidates as well. Justin Bibb has been vocal that he supports the amendment, saying that it adds a needed layer of accountability. While City Council President Kevin Kelly says that this is the, doing the opposite and really kind of um, ignores the process the city is making with the U.S. Justice Department. Betsy, hmm, certainly one to keep an eye on, and we will get that yes or yeah. no later tonight. All right, thanks so much, Marissa. Yep.